everybody and welcome thank you for joining me as i explore the best of modern retro gaming and today we are playing some cathedral it is a fun metroidvania style game in which we were awoken in a castle and we are trying to figure uh, out how to get out of this place is basically the whole crux of the story and we are trying to get to hopefully we can do two things today and today we are going to try to get to the town there is a town to the east of us which hopefully we can manage our way to and also there is a map that i would like to also get to that is over to the east as well so we're gonna try to do that but we will have to see if that is going to be uh well we'll we'll, we'll get it we'll, we'll, we'll have to try our best to make it that way and i think i don't think it'll be too difficult i do enjoy this game quite a bit it's fun it's exciting it's difficult in a lot of ways but uh in a lot of ways it's difficult in the right ways um, I have talked a little bit before about the, the difficulty in it and how I, I don't like that I just fell down through there. Um, I typically really don't like, Met uh, not Metroidvania games, um, uh, artificial difficulties, but this game does artificial difficulty in a way that makes it interesting. And I'll explain, and I came, at least in my opinion, I came to the realization in a couple episodes ago that I feel that the real enemy here in this game is the, uh, not the monsters. The monsters are pretty much um, fairly easy to tackle and deal with. What I believe is the real difficulty in this game is the levels themselves. They're, um, they have a lot of spikes, a lot of things that will trip you up. And that kind of different look at it uh, has made an intriguing kind of thought process and how I enjoy it. That's the map I'm trying to get to, but I'm going to have to go up and over up and around for it but uh yeah just looking at it a little bit different and thinking of the board as the uh, difficulty and not really the creatures uh really changed my opinion on it and kind of like okay well artificial difficulty out no that's not good that's not good i'm going to end up on those spikes um while i don't typically like it i think works in this game and do I have the floaty guy? No, I, um, no, I have, wait, that's, yes, that's what I wanted, the floaty thing, but I'm going to have to try to get over here because the map was somewhere in this vicinity. Yep, there it is. So we grabbed the map. Awesome. And now I should be able to just double jump back up now. Let's take a look. There's a lot of Ice Peak Mountain that I have not covered yet. But there is also a town near here, supposedly to the east. And I got to figure out which way it is. And I wonder if it's that one. I believe this one is blocked, if I remember correctly. So I don't think it's... I really want to get to that town, if at all possible. So that's my goal. I would like to get some of this money deposited i don't have a whole lot of money i routinely end up losing my money um so that's kind of where i am here and you lose your money through dying and yeah when every time you die you lose a little bit of money so nope you're not gonna get me rp I refuse to let you get me. Come on, come at, come at, come at me again. There we go. Oh, I was trying to jump on her head. There we go. Ouch. Okay. Well, we got each other. How's that? That kind of worked out. There is a flat bottom here. Which way? Oh, nope. 
Let's get through this ice guy. I like the ice thing. The ice thing is really cool. I'm not sure which way I need to go The Oops, missed it. Uh-oh. RB. Come on. Come at me. Ah, shoot. Come on. Here we go. Ah, die. There we go. I don't really like the RBs much. They're kind of difficult. And I jumped too early. Come on. We can do this. Actually, I probably don't even need that to get up there. I can probably do... Yeah, that's... Oh. Trying to see where that's going to take me. Do I want to go... I've went that way. So let's see what's up. If the town is up here. I really, really want to find out where this town is. And I bet you... That it's just off here. Oh, uh oh. Come on, Harvey. All right. These guys, I hate these guys. They're so tough. And they are, oh, a saves point. Oh, Harpies everywhere. Oh, gosh, run. Ah! Okay, so I am confused. Ah, shoot. Okay, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but I really don't like these. Oh, gosh, there's things everywhere. Bad idea. Bad idea. Run. Okay, let's handle these things a little bit. Uh, okay, let's jump on this guy. Oh, gosh. Okay, just stay on this guy's head. Right here. Oh, no, no, no. Harpies, die, 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 Harpies. Oh, gosh. I got wasted there. Um. Well, shoot. I don't feel that I am going the right way, but. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That is a very interesting. Now, how long will that stay there? I do not know. Oh, dash! <laughs> we made it. We're still Ice Spire Beaks, but... Oh, oh gosh, these Harpies are ridiculous. I'm going to end up... Yep, hitting hit there. I didn't have much of a choice because of where they are. Man. Yeah. These Harpies are really tough, and I just jumped into that one. Oh, but can I jump over that? There we go. No, what is with this? Why? Why do you do this to me? Game. Gosh. No, I'm not going to make it. Run. Ah! These freaking harpies are going to be the death of me, literally. I am not going to be able to make this. Ugh. Die. Die. It's all heart. Let's grab that. That's going to be at least a little bit helpful. I feel though this is going to take me to somewhere. The the dead ends usually take me to a place that's going to be helpful. Like a bonus or a an ability or something. And I cannot get up there. How am I going to get up there? I don't know. That did not seem like, seem like a possible... Nope. I don't feel that is possible. So let's see if we can run back through this gauntlet here. Which is, nope, go not going to be possible at all. But that at least gets me a little bit this way. So, oh, shh. That didn't work out well for me. But run. Run. Wow. That's not good. Okay. So we're going to jump over that harpy. Run. Oh, nope, nope. We're not going to jump over that harpy. Come on, jeez. But these things will kill me in two hits. It's ridiculous. But now, I am gonna go see if I can check out this other area. Maybe it's a little bit safer. Maybe I could find the city, which is really what I wanna find. I think it is this way. Okay, let him run down that way if that's what he wants to do. I will deal with that guy later. Oh no, 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 I got really worried that I was going to get trapped in the... There we go. This guy's a mad little, mad little mad scientist or something. 
Oh, shoot. Nope, oh, nope, no, I'm in trouble. RB. Oh, no. That was close. Okay, come at me. Come at me. There we go. Get another couple wins. I don't want to get trapped up there because if you get trapped up there and they keep on moving up, you still will get hit. Which is not really what I want either. Come on, die. Oh, oops. No? Come on, get up there. I believe this might be the way. Nope. That is not high enough. It has to be up there somewhere, though. Oh, gosh. I get turned around. Yeah. If I can get up. Oh, he's like right there on that edge, too. Come on, we can kill him. Ouch! Got a snowball to the face. That's not good. How am I gonna get... Can I get there from that platform? I feel that this one's too tall. Oh! Just in time. There we go. Are we in the next city? It's like... Nope! Tinkerton! Yes, I did! Sweet! Oh, and the snowman cute! What is this? Tran? Train and Sprain? Who is this? Let's find out. What do you want? I'm busy. I have to repair my crossbow. I was about to head up to the mountain when Anders destroyed it. My daughter, Rannock, lives up in the mountains. I haven't heard from her lately. I need to make sure she's alright. Uh-oh, so we're going up into the mountains. I'm gonna seem to assume so that we can find her daughter at some point. So, we've got down. Let's go down and see. These are okay. more doors. That's gonna be, that's what I'm trying to find is like doors to go into. I need to find the healing person and well, there's absolutely nothing in here. What's this? Really like my skull collection. How many do I own? Check Mayor Brogerg's next house. I don't really like the idea of a skull collection. We could probably. Ooh, I landed on a little uh, ledge there. I didn't even mean to. Oh, yay! The bank. I don't think I have any money. It's that same old lady, too. Shop. So here's what we're looking. Oh, there is no. Oh. Okay. So here's another armor augmentation. 5,000. Old bronze amulet, which reduces gold loss by, okay, 4,000. And then, yeah, I need $20,000. Yeah, that's not gonna be easy thing to do, but we'll see what we can do. A lot of times it just like throws money at you sometimes. I wouldn't say randomly, but like after a boss battle or something like that, they'll or little hidden caches. So you can be really surprised sometimes. Today we found an old stone arch in one of the mine shafts. I didn't know what its uses are, but it's is humming with spirit magic. We were voted to board it up and protect it with secret passage for now. In order to remember the combination, I left some clues. The first one can be found in the Master Svet's house. Interesting, so we've got something to look forward to. Or something to do. House. Let's keep on going down, I guess. That's probably... Yeah, okay. We need to find Svent's house. There's some... What's a blockade here? Yep. Now, see, I could get... No, I'm not close enough to those. So that's one of the ways... We also have to figure out how to get around that. Because that's kind of one of the ways... Ooh, kind of a cave. Or a basement. I didn't expect this. But uh, they do that quite often in this game as a way to get you... Once you take the long way around, they usually allow you to do a quick way. Yeah, okay. So this is the place that I need to find. That is the location, the lock that we, that, you know, we were just read in the book. 
read about in the book. So yeah, once you go around the long way, they usually allow you a a shorter way to go into. There we go. That's as good, I guess, as finding the healer. Don't really need that right now. There we go. Some, some money stores. Always good. Not a whole lot of money, but you can find those treasure chests all over the place. Let's keep on exploring these. this little, like a basement almost. Do not attempt to enter the desolate mines that were abandoned many years ago for a good reason. Today, it's little more than a network of decayed, uncharted ruins. Okay, so there's a key there. So, so far we need a key and a combination. I like this little dash feature. There's some more money. Here we go. So yeah, just like this, they kind of throw a little bit of money at you. I'm going to take a little ride over here. Just, oh, look at that. It's a music book. Awesome. So I don't know how many music books I, I can find out. Oops, that's not the right button. Music books. This is a... Yeah, the book club. So I found 58 books out of 100, and I could return them to him for 150 each. So right now I have seven unturned uh, books that would give me like 1,050 or something like that. So I like these little warrior snowman. They're pretty cool. This shrine is built from debris from Ice Peak Castle. It is here to remind us of the ancient battle against Nidlong, the Dragon King. Many of our people were killed by Nidlong and his master Ardor, the World Devourer. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. Fire of Dragons. Oh, hello, traveler. I'm trying to solve a riddle. I doubt you could help me. I hope I'm not being rude, but I need to focus on this. Okay. Still a little... There's something up there. I feel that there's something up there. We need four... Some kind of four-digit combination. Is this... Fin nope. Mayor's house. Well, there's a... We only have half of the dragon statues on display at the shrine. The only other, the other ones are in storage. How many do we have? Check master Olaf's house. What do you have? Oh, no, I didn't want to go outside. I wanted to talk to the lady, the nice lady. Why would you want to go to Ice Peak Castle? It's a long and dreadful journey to the top. Very well, I can help you if you help the people of Tinkerton. There are cannons placed on the trial up to Ice Peak Castle. You'll need to use these in order to reach the top. We disabled these cannons a long time ago, though. Prove yourself worthy of our help, and we'll enable the cannons once again. Come speak to me again when it is done. Ah, uh, another quest. Do all the quests. So, it can't go that way. So, what do we have? Well, let's go up there and see if we can find anything else up in that area. We need to look for a key that is somewhere, but we also need Svent's house. Svent's house gives us... Oh, okay. I was thought I could walk on the roof there, but only ch the chimney, I suppose. Svin's house is going to give us the beginning part of the key, and we also need to Svinston's house. And there was something else that we could have. Master Olaf's house. Huh. Well, there's not much here but the old book. Master Sven isn't the only one who can collect things. Check Master Brent's house again when you're done here. Well. 
I don't want to check all the houses. I want to find a code. I don't think I can get up to that. Nope, I don't think I can anyway. Come on. Yeah, so... Hmm. Trying to figure out what I need to do. Definitely the key is, is going to be important. And... The, um... The key, uh, the uh, code. Okay, so I can heal. I found it. You seem to be okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, I need to run back. I should run back to bank. Every little bit matters. There's the... Okay, that guy is the... He tells me... The fortune teller tells me what, like, needs to be done next or where I go next. I can talk to him like, real quick. Ooh, spooky. So this is kind of a cool... Uh, Mechanic if you ever get lost or not know what to do next this guy kind of like tells you Kind of what you should be doing the sun sunk and dimple you must best now check the walls for clues a Dark and evil mermaid looks a magnet you can use Okay, so that's telling me that I have to Do the um mermaid first i'll have to beat her which is going to be really difficult i gotta say because i tried her a few times and found her extremely difficult um so i'm not sure what i'm going to do here ouch in the like trying to figure out what is the best course of action I just hit these guys. Ouch. Okay, these guys are really strong. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I die already. There we go. Got rid of him. At least they just run, which is good. How long will he like shoot out his okay, at least it gives me a little bit of room there anyways. Run away. Go away! Harpies, I don't like you. So we have to go all the way Shoot. back. And that's not going to be fun. Um, what is the city next to... This is the cathedral. Is there a city down? Whoa, there's something in the graveyard I haven't done yet. I did not know that. Am I on the wrong layer? There's a lot on the graveyard it looks like that I haven't done yet. Where is... The Shade Forest is how I got there. Where am I thinking? Here's the Bone Church. Here we go. Bright Wind is the closest blue haven and then the sunken temple okay so yeah blue haven if i can get the blue haven wow i really need i'm like way way far away from it too i was gonna say when i get the blue haven maybe i should run back into tinkerton and see if i could teleport there was a door i did not go into That will probably be faster than trying to go through the world. Hey, just run! Something died. I don't know what died, but something died. I want to get those. There we go. Oh! Die! Yeah, no! Right. Trying to be quick about it, but that didn't work for me. I can get rehealed wherever I go, I guess. This is not a good idea. Oh, no, 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 die, die, die. Oh, oh, gosh. I guess I didn't lose too much. Okay, that takes me back. There should be a door here. 
Oh, uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe that's what's. I jump on this. Oh, I could jump on this. Okay. There seems well. That doesn't really help me. That gives me eight. But it says there's a door here, and I can't. It doesn't open. Well, I guess I'm going back the hard way. Now, that's not good, unfortunately. It looks like we'll be spending most of our time trying to get back. I don't remember which one was the bank and which one was the health. Try to drop as much as we can and that of be best as possible. I think what I'm gonna do after we've explored this, the best thing to do is what we're gonna do is go ahead and end the episode here and we will check out the we'll get I'll get all the way back to Blue Haven and go from there and try to go into the sunken castle. That's probably the best bet. That way it's not going to be... I'm trying to see if there's anything else up. Ooh! A little bit of gold hung, hung out in the corner. That's okay. Oh, okay. well, thank you guys so much. Have I talked to this guy? Huh? Who are you? Well, aren't you, Chatty? Welcome to Tinkerton, I guess. I'm Anders, the apprentice of Master Olaf. He's the best mark marksman in the area this house here is his training facility i broke his favorite crossbow i'm not allowed inside right now so i'm out here making snowmen and said do you want to join me not really okay thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next episode as we try to take on the mer, mer lady again bye everybody